I'm Sir TapTap, and I have an interesting little oddity for you here. So, what you are seeing is, well, let's see if it has a name. It does not. That's right, Parker. Hi. So, um, what you're seeing is a space theme that does not actually exist in the game. I mean, obviously it does, but uh, there's no item associated with it. Um, so, this was discovered on Reddit. Um, hello. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Parker. Um, Reddit user Idle State found this, and, um, well, there was, there was sort of a little hunting on, there was a hunt on Reddit. Somebody saw this in their friends list, and they're like, what's well, this theme? We never saw this theme before. And, uh, turns out, what, what happens? Oops. <laughs> well, this is something else I should talk about, too, but that's not what I meant to show. Um, that's right, Parker. Um, so what happens is that if you do not have the fall theme and you view somebody else that has the fall theme in the uh, Facebook feature, they have this mysterious beastie active. And uh, Abyssrium confirmed that this is basically a test theme. This is like a null placeholder. So that if the game doesn't know what theme to give you, it gives you this. And this seems to have been added quietly at some point. And they said, they said, please don't care about it. <laughs> that was their actual words. Please don't care about it. So it might not ever be in the game for real, or it might be something made for like a future event. But um, you can get this if you want to, but I really do not suggest that you actually do it. Um, here's the steps. So what I did was on my main file, like, um, so I have these virtual Android machines that I use to record on, right? And I have one that hadn't been updated in a long time because I haven't played the game that I used it for. So what I did was I loaded that VM up. I turned off auto updates for Abyssrium and then I loaded my cloud save from a game that already had the fall update. So because it was an old version, it doesn't have the fall theme, but I put on a, a save file that's saying, hey, I have all these fish out and, um, and I have this theme on. All of those fish are gone. Um, I need to be real careful to, I, I really hope this does not upload the save. In fact, I should probably, I should probably put on um, airplane mode now that I think about it. Um, yeah, the, the, there is a danger here if you do explore with this. You do not want this save to overwrite your main save. Um, I would just recommend not messing with this feature. Um, I don't think there is a theme. Like, I don't think there, I think there's a hat you know, the crown there, and there's a die, but I don't think there's a theme. Um, oh crap, I have to be connected to use. Ugh, I hate when they make features online only. Let's see what the moon looks like, but I'm pretty sure there's no theme, because this looks like normal Abyssrium. Yeah, it's just plain normal Abyssrium theme. So yeah, there's nothing there, let me... <laughs> Sorry, but I, I really don't want to over... All right, my safe, whoa. It immediately goes away, that is so rude. But yeah, um, so... That's possibly something to look forward to if they ever make a theme out of it um, or an event out of it, maybe, or just maybe make it as a theme. I did notice one time, a long time ago, before the anniversary event, uh, I had the theme tab appear because that appears every time you load a save. Um, and it was a star icon. And I think that was a placeholder just like this is. So I think at some point they might make a star theme. Yeah, this is something that you can put into your game without hacking, but it's not really something that would happen in a normal circumstance. Um, though anybody that, um, you might just want to look for your Facebook friends if you want to peek at it yourself. Um, because if one of your friends has the fall theme and you don't have that update yet, it might show it as this. Oh, wait, let's see if he has animations for his little hat. No, in fact, that might only be, it might only be a die, not the, uh, it might not be a hat. Because the hats usually animate. Uh, when you click. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to see here. Um, oh, I did want to mention, um, I do have a patron and we are very close to getting to the reduce ads tier. Uh, if once I get a hundred bucks a month on patron, I will, uh, I'll remove one fourth of ads on my website. Then once we get to 200, I'll remove half of the ads uh, and so on. So that's a fun feature. You also get cute pictures of Parker here. Say hi. Say hi. Well, he's here. He's He covers my desk every time I try to record something. 
Um, you also get early videos if you're at the right tier, and you can get backer credits in uh, at the end of my videos and in the uh, Abyssrium guide itself. That's for ten bucks. Uh, I need to do a video specifically on the patron thing. But yeah, if you if my guides have helped you out. Um, Definitely feel free to check out my Patreon. You can even just follow it if you don't want to pay, but uh, paying is a really nice way to support my writing and my guides and all of that fun stuff. Um, also, just because I accidentally brought it up, uh, I noticed when I loaded up this VM, this this virtual machine, is it said, you're back, we missed you, here's a gift of 300 gems. So I haven't loaded this up in a while. I don't know exactly how long, but apparently Abyssrium has a thing where if you're idle for a few weeks, months, I don't I don't honestly know, uh, it tosses you 300 gems. It's probably not exploitable because it probably requires you to be online and, you know, checks with the server. So I don't think it's exploitable, but just know that if you haven't played Abyssrium in a long time, and if you haven't, I don't know why you're watching this video, but anyway, you might have some gems waiting for you. It's not an incredible amount, but uh, hey, that's like... That's 30 ads worth of gems, so I mean, it's, it's not terrible. But yeah, that's the mysterious thing. Uh, big shout outs to Reddit, uh, Reddit specifically Idle State, who uh, found the exact, I, I was kind of suspicious that this was some kind of placeholder thing when I first saw it, but yeah, it's confirmed now. I kind of like how it works with the blue inside the little cave there. Um, I hope they release this theme at some point. It's nice. It needs a costume and like a, a, a moon theme to go with it. But uh, yeah, they call the when the, the ones that only affect the coral, they call dyes. I always forget that because it doesn't make much sense because it doesn't, it's not really, never mind. Um, but yeah, I guess that's all there is to show. So yeah, that's the, that's the mysterious unobtainable theme from Abyssrium. Like I said, you can try this at home, but I do not recommend it. And if you do, make sure that you do not load a save from this. Like I would lose all of my fall event fish. At least I assume so. I'm not gonna check that because I, that would be unpleasant to check. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, there's not much you can do with it other than, you know, you've pretty much seen what there is to see in this video. It would be nice to have, but um, I don't think it's worth doing too much damage to your save file just to check out. I mean, you got this video, right? What more could you want me to do? <laughs> but yeah, that's that's another one of Abyssrium's mysteries solved, I suppose. Thanks for watching.